Oh my god, they actually did it. DC actually made a non-Batman superhero movie good. I am the Kaiju no Kami and this is my quickie review of Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman stars Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman and it's set during World War I. She lives on an island of Amazons named Themascara when Steve Trevor ends up crashing down and she rescues him and then everything just goes off from there. It's basically like that kind of fish out of water story where she goes into the big city and is experiencing civilization for the first time ever and it's done really well. This is where a lot of the humor of the movie comes from. It's fun. This is a fun movie. Besides the opening and closing which takes place after Batman vs Superman, you would never know this was part of the DC Cinematic Universe. And that is a good thing. It's a nice standalone movie, but they actually cared about developing the characters. It is really good. And it frustrates me because I had no interest in seeing this movie. I kept going like, nope, not gonna go see it, not gonna go see it. Then some friends are like, hey, you wanna go see Wonder Woman? <sighs> well, it's getting good reviews, so okay. And we went. And I'm kind of glad we did. Again, it is a really good movie. I'm not going to go out and say it's the best DC movie since The Dark Knight because that's really not saying much. I mean, that leaves you with Rises, which was black, Green Lantern, which was meh, Jonah Hex, which <laughs> is the biggest abomination to ever hit the comic book industry. Yes, I think Jonah Hex is the worst superhero comic book movie ever. Had Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad. I'm sure there's something else in there I'm forgetting, but holy crap, they all suck. So let me put it in this perspective Wonder Woman is the best non Batman superhero movie they have ever done. Yes, that means it's even better than the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. I'm sorry to all those I just pissed off, but deal with it. Now that's not to say that everything in this movie is perfect, because it is a flawed movie, but it's a step in the right direction. First, despite all the humor and everything that's great, and character building and world building, character development, there's one part of the movie where something happens, Wonder Woman goes in there, she comes out of this smoke, and suddenly the movie felt like that. Warner Brothers was like, okay guys, we need to wrap this movie up, get wrapping it up, get to all the action. There's just this little jump that feels very disjointed, as if it was a separate entity from the rest of the movie, and I have no idea what happened there. It just felt off. Also, the final battle really delves down into more just a generic CGI fest. Now, don't get me wrong. I liked the final battle, but all that CGI was completely unnecessary. Although, gotta hand it to them, it wasn't a mass destruction city explosion. So there's that. And the villain is, yeah. I mean, it kind of works, but it doesn't. Especially if you were looking for a villain that was really going to be highly developed. You're not going to get that here. Those aside, you have great acting. Gal Gadot does a phenomenal job as Diana or Wonder Woman. She is really able to lay on the strong side while also maintaining that innocent side. It works so well and of course Chris Pine as Steve Trevor is great. I thought he would have been a perfect Aquaman for this universe but of course Warner Brothers felt differently. But hey, you know what? He really elevated this movie and he's got the perfect face to pull off scenes of confusion. It works so well. There is a really hilarious scene between him and Wonder Woman early on when he gets out of a hot tub. That's just great. I don't think any other actor could have pulled that off. The music is really well done too and oh wait there is one other thing that does bother me a bit. The slow motion scenes. If this movie did not have slow motion scenes you could have chopped 20 minutes off of the running time. Because outside of maybe a couple like two, three slowdown scenes, the slowdown scenes were unnecessary. Like I get the first time, which you saw in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. When Diana first sees a bullet for the very first time at the beginning of the movie, it's done in slow motion and it works because it shows the shock on her face like, what is that that I'm looking at? But then later on, it just gets redundant and tiresome. In fact, sometimes I felt like I was watching the cutscenes to Injustice. Nevertheless, I am so glad to have seen this movie, and I hope, I really hope that Justice League does not screw this up. 
Wonder Woman was a good time, it's a great DC movie. In fact, this movie is so good, it's practically a Marvel movie. Yeah, I did steal that from someone's quote. I don't know who's though, but I thought it was pretty good. If you have lost complete interest in the DC Cinematic Universe, I can't blame you. I did the same, but you know what? It was worth seeing this movie, so definitely check it out. I give Wonder Woman 8 out of 10 stars. Until next time, bye.